In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert temperature from units of Celsius to units of Fahrenheit. And here's the formula that you need. The Fahrenheit temperature is equal, well, you can write it this way. The Fahrenheit temperature is equal to 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32. So let's say if the current temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. What is the Fahrenheit temperature? Feel free to work on this problem if you want. You can pause the video and try it yourself. All we need to do is plug in this value into the equation. So the Fahrenheit temperature is going to be 1.8 multiplied by the Celsius temperature, which is 25 degrees plus 32. 1.8 times 25 is 45. And then 45 plus 32, that's 77. So the Fahrenheit temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's how you can convert the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now let's work on some more examples. Try these two problems. Let's say the temperature is 40, actually let's say it's 37 degrees Celsius. And also this one, let's say the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. At 100, that's when water boils at sea level. Go ahead and calculate the Fahrenheit temperature for each of these two values. So let's start with the first example. The Fahrenheit temperature is going to be 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32. So let's begin by replacing C with 37. One point eight times thirty seven. That's 66.6. .6. And then we'll add 32 to that. So we get a Fahrenheit temperature of 98.6 degrees. This is basically the standard temperature that our body is at. Our body typically operate at a temperature of 98 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. Now let's try the other example. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Let's calculate the Fahrenheit temperature for that. So let's use the same formula. Let's replace C with 100. One point eight times 100 is 180. And then 180 plus 32, if you add 18 and 3, you get 21. And then 0 and 2, you get 2. So the Fahrenheit temperature is 212 degrees. So that's the Fahrenheit temperature at which water boils at sea level, where the atmospheric pressure is 1 atm. So now you know how to calculate the Fahrenheit temperature from Celsius. You just got to use the formula. That's how you can convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now, here's a question for you. At what temperature is the Celsius temperature equal to the Fahrenheit temperature? Feel free to pause the video and think about that one. How can we find the temperature at which the Celsius value is equal to the Fahrenheit value. Well, let's begin by starting with this equation. To find the answer, what we need to do is replace the Fahrenheit value with Celsius because they're now equal to each other. So I'm going to replace F with C. So C is going to be equal to 1.8 C plus 32. C is the same as 1 C. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract both sides by 1c. These will cancel, giving me 0 on the left. 1.8 minus 1 is 0.8. And then I have plus 32. Next, I'm going to subtract both sides by 32. So I have negative 32 is equal to 0.8 times the Celsius temperature. Now, let's divide both sides by 0.8. So it's negative 32 divided by 0.8, which is negative 40. So this is the temperature at which the Celsius temperature is the same as the Fahrenheit temperature. It's negative 40 degrees. So if someone says it's negative 40 degrees outside, and you ask them, is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? The answer is both. It's negative 40 degrees Celsius and negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the point where these two temperatures have the same value. 